Hello, and thank you for visiting Quantum Rehab. Today, we will be going over the installation of the Quantum Backup Camera, also known as the QBC. The backup camera will initially be available for the QLogic 3. The NE and NE Plus options will follow. The Quantum Backup Camera consists of the following parts. The QLogic 3 QBC harness, display gooseneck clamp, display assembly, camera, display on-off switch, egg switch, egg switch length extension, the extended hardware for mounting the QBC harness, 3M dual lock mounting, and for an additional charge, a rehab headrest camera mount which mounts to many stealth and aftermarket headrest mounting hardware. The dual lock is a great option to use if your client has DME mounted on the back of the chair, such as a cough assist or a ventilator. The dual lock allows you to mount the camera anywhere you'd like, allowing for a wider range of customization. And the tools required are a 3 and 5 mm hex key, a Phillips head screwdriver, and zip ties. To start, grab the display gooseneck clamp, slide the T-nuts into the slots underneath the armrest. For this example, I will be using the outside slot of the left arm. Use a 5 mm hex key to tighten the bolts on the clamp to set your location. Next, insert the receiver tube to the bracket and secure by tightening the thumb screw. Next, insert the gooseneck into the receiver on the armrest. Tighten the clamp by turning the levers clockwise. Next, route the wire for the backup camera by using the cable clip located underneath the armrest and the channel at the back of the armrest. Position the display by moving the gooseneck. The tension on the display is also adjustable, allowing you to set the right amount of force for your client to move the display. Next, we will install the QLogic 3 harness for the QBC. Remove the rear shroud from the back. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the bracket securing the multiplier to the back. The QBC harness can plug directly into the AAM or anywhere on the bus. For our example here, we will be using a multiplier. Press the QL3 QBC harness in front of the multiplier and screw the bracket back in place. Now we will install the camera. The camera can be installed in a myriad of locations. We include 3M dual lock so that the ATP or clinician can determine with the client what the best camera location is. When installing the camera with the dual lock, Please be sure the camera is installed in a place where it won't be crushed by any of the power seat functions. We will also demonstrate installation of the rehab headrest camera mount as well. Next, we can place the bracket on the headrest stem. Start by loosening the bracket with a 3mm hex key. This will allow you to mount the bracket onto the headrest stem. The camera can be adjusted by using a Phillips head screwdriver, as shown here. Now it is time to connect the wiring. Run the camera wire through the opening in the carrier shroud in the back, as shown here. Connect the pins into the female end of the cabling, like so. There are two wires extending from the QBC harness that have the correct shape connector. The display will be connected using the remaining wire with the correct shape connector that has not been used. Next, you'll need to connect the QBC harness to your QLogic 3 controller. You will notice there is an extra 3mm jack coming from the QBC harness. This is for the optional egg switch. Once the egg switch position is determined and mounted, Route the wire through the cable clip, through the channel at the rear of the armrest, then through the channel at the bottom of the shroud. Then connect to the 3mm jack coming off the QVC harness. As of now, there is no set way to perform wire management. For this video, we have bundled the wires together above the QBC harness and zip tied them into place to keep them compact. This does not interfere with the removing of the rear shroud from the back. Now for the final check, we will turn on the chair and make sure everything is working properly. 
By default, the backup camera will only be activated when the joystick is triggered in reverse. You can also set the display to be always on. To do this, press your egg switch. Ours is located here on the side of the armrest. Now the display will always be on. If you need to change the activation settings of the display to a rearward joystick deflection, simply press the egg switch again. Lastly, double check your seat functions to ensure the camera is not affected by the seat actuation.